Prepare for war. A top Trump health official named Michael Caputo warns of an armed insurrection after the election. He tells people to buy ammo and ammunition and proclaims the second civil war is upon us. Hello everyone, this is Mr. Obvious and today on the internet, we're going to talk about Michael Caputo and his prediction. So in a late night rant on Facebook Live, Michael Caputo was talking to people telling how he had seen that Democrats were preparing for an armed insurrection after the election. Now his prediction is not off. In fact, it's completely and utterly plausible. In fact, it's likely. We've known that the Democrats are making a lot of veiled threats about what happens if Biden doesn't win. They basically have been threatening us that you better make sure that Biden wins or else we're gonna sick our social justice left-wing extremists Antifa BLM people at you. And you know, they've been pretty open about it. Like throwing threat after threat. Here on the Daily Mail, Donald Trump appointed HHS spokesman says buy ammunition as he claims Democrats are planning an armed insurrection after the election and accuses the CDC of sedition against the president in a Facebook Live rant. Now, <laughs> the left is having a field day with this story. People are calling Caputo crazy, they're saying he's a conspiracy crackpot, and they're saying that his claims are without evidence. But you know what? Are they? We've been openly seeing Democrats threaten Americans. I mean, look at this story that's trending on Twitter. What will happen if Donald Trump doesn't accept the election results? Joe Biden has accused the US president of trying to steal the election. Projection. And claimed that the military would escort him out of the White House if he refused to leave. We explain what could happen if Donald Trump loses the election but doesn't accept defeat. In their narrative, only Biden is allowed to win. And if Trump wins, well, they're not gonna accept it. They're going to riot. They're gonna burn the country down. And yet they're saying that Trump's the one who may not accept it? No, they're lying. Now, before we look at this story, um, I'm gonna show you some of the things he said and some of the outrage as the NPCs on the left wing melt down. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the bell button for notifications so that you never miss updates for brand new content. And if you enjoy my content, please share it online. It's a good way to help the channel. And now a quick word from our sponsor. Virtue Signal The Card Game is currently working on an expansion pack. This expansion pack is called The Deplorables. It adds a bunch of fantastic new figures, like Chad. Well, the original game picks mainly on the radical left. Deplorable satirizes the more colorful personalities on the so-called political right. Dangerous incels, psychotic trolls, the fundamentalist zombie rednecks of the cursed earth, and others we completely made up. As the deplorable player, you are a parasite on the taint of humanity, and you exist only to make regular people miserable. Are you in reality a Russian bot? Unclear, but we assume that you are. Of course, the more irritating you become, the more likely you are to incur the wrath of the Banhammer, get simped by some random ethot, or get deplatformed entirely. Justice inevitably comes to all. If you would like to help fund this expansion pack, click the link down below in the description. So let's read about Mike Caputo in his insane uh, Facebook rant, what he said. I honestly don't think it was that insane. Like, are we really surprised that the left is probably going to have an armed insurrection if Trump wins? Many people are calling this the second civil war. And of that, I've got to agree. In what is being called a bizarre Facebook Live session, Michael Caputo said, political opponents are going to have to kill me and claim that Democrats are plotting an armed insurrection. Based in red pill. Now, the left is claiming that this guy was uh, trying to suppress the CDC. I don't know much about that. I'm not going to comment on it. But what I will say is there's a lot of politics involved in coronavirus. You know, the country should have ended the lockdown like months ago. And the only reason that the country is being kept locked down is because Democrats know that it will hurt the economy. And they know that a hurt economy will hurt Donald Trump. In other words, they're letting hundreds of thousands of people lose their jobs, lose their lives by closing the economy and banning businesses from opening. Not only that, they're allowing the radical left to go out in the street 
and burn businesses down. America is suffering greatly under this quarantine and pandemic. Enough is enough. That's the only reason they want to keep it down is to hurt people. So here was Caputo's grand prediction. When Donald Trump refuses to stand down at the inauguration, the shooting will begin, he said. The drills that you've seen are nothing, said Caputo. If you carry guns, buy ammunition, ladies and gentlemen, because it's going to be hard to get. These are words of wisdom, and I'm going to tell you why. The Democrats and liberals and the conservatives are like, Caputo is insane. There'll never be violence on the streets. Meanwhile, there's a rioter outside breaking windows. It could never happen to me. Meanwhile, several cities are being burned down by Antifa. And so on and so forth. Anyone who thinks that civil war is not possible in America clearly has never heard of America. Now, you've got some really smart people out there saying, there's not going to be a civil war. We're already in a civil war as far as I'm concerned. Civil War Part 2, Electric Boogaloo. That's pretty much where we're at, folks. I mean, think about it. America beat every country it ever fought, for the most part, including itself. Yeah, I'll kick my own ass. I'm going to show you guys something that I actually wasn't going to talk about, because it's a little bit scary. Did you know that the second Civil War already has a Wikipedia page, but they don't quite know it yet? Here on 4chan an anonymous image board website where people can chat about different subjects. Annan says, the second civil war has a Wikipedia page now. Which side do you support? Now just taking a look at these combatants, I think you're gonna get a little bit of a clear picture here. So apparently parties to the civil conflict are the US government, the US army, the DOJ, the DHS, the FBI, and law enforcement. And apparently the so-called good guys the protesters, Black Lives Matter, Antifa, NBPP, the NFAC, the PSJBGC, and other groups. Now you can already tell that the person who wrote this article is a biased leftist, where the protesters are the good guys, as they burn down cities, hurt people, beat people in the street, and destroy the American dream. And then they're saying the counter protesters are the bad guys. So who do they list? Blue Lives Matter, people who care about cops, the QAnon movement, people who care about human trafficking, the three percenters, I have no idea what that is, so don't ask me, Patriot Prayer, which is, uh, actually, I don't know what that is either, the Proud Boys, ah, okay, so I do know the Proud Boys, these are a group of people who go to protests in order to protect conservatives from violent far-left extremists, they do not fight first, they are defensive, they protect people, and they've been demonized. And they also say other, the Boogaloo movement. Now I find this so funny because again, they literally have no idea what they're talking about. These leftists who write these stupid Wikipedia articles and these stupid articles in the media. So for a long time now, the mainstream and the media and the leftists, they've been saying that the Boogaloo is a, is a dangerous movement of far right extremists who wanna take down the government <laughs> scary but the truth is boogaloo is literally just a meme and it's a meme from 4chan it's a meme from k the gun board so the way the meme goes is someday the government's gonna come for you but you're gonna use your big stockpile of guns and you're gonna fight back you're gonna take down the man take down the government yeah but it's just a meme it has literally been an inside joke on 4chan for oh, like what, like over nine years now? I think it's been longer than that. It's a meme, it doesn't mean anything. It's not a movement. It was never a movement. And the idea that the Boogaloo people are only right wing is stupid. You have plenty of left wing, socialist, communist, anarchists who want to do a Boogaloo just as badly as some right wingers. Now it's stupid too because all Boogaloo means is happening or showdown. It does not refer to any revolution. So if you take a look at the Wikipedia page, they call it the 2020 United States racial unrest. And honestly, this whole article is a farce. I, I honestly believe this is not about racial unrest. This article is basically about the American second civil war. It misses how the left wing and the media the establishment have been pushing and increasing racial tensions in this country have been pushing violent rhetoric, hateful rhetoric against cops, against law and order, 
against a rational society. And they list a bunch of people here saying that the major in protests and riots are because of these people who got, uh, who were killed by police. But what they don't tell you is that almost everyone on this list were all criminals, resisting arrest, attacking police, felons, attacking people with weapons, and on the list goes. You see, groups like Black Lives Matter and Antifa, they don't march for good people, they march for criminals. In almost every single case, the person did something wrong. And you know, leftists are so disingenuous because they'll say things like, well, they didn't deserve to die, even if they were a felon drug abusing murderer. Nobody deserves to die. Shut up. I literally just watched a video today of two cops attempting to arrest a man and he resisted arrest and he was crying like a baby saying, no, I don't want to go to jail. Don't hurt me. Why are you doing this? The cops sprayed pepper spray at him. They tried to tase him and they tried to get him under control. Do you know what happened? That man reached under his seat, pulled out a gun, faked the cops out and then executed both of them. One of them died and only one survived. And if a criminal gets shot because they attacked police, maybe it's because they attacked police. Why should cops have to give up their lives for a violent criminal? So is this all some elaborate plan to throw a coup and take over the United States of America? Yeah, maybe. I think there's a good chance for that. I think there's a good chance for that. These people are destroying America as we know it. They don't want a two-party system. They don't even want democracy. They want to rule like kings and queens. They just want to take it, take the presidency. But that, my friends, is pretty much the story. And it goes without saying, Caputo is right. Now the Democrats and the media are gonna tell you, oh, these are conspiracies. These aren't, this will never happen. Don't worry, it'll be fine. Biden will win. Trump will lose. Even if Trump wins, he'll lose. And then Biden will take the presidency or else. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna listen to the people threatening me with violence to not buy guns. <laughs> Excellent strategy. Too bad it's not gonna work. But that's merely the obvious. Well, that's all for now, folks. What do you think about this story? Let me know down below in the comment section. If you wanna support the channel, please join me on Patreon or Subscribestar. Joining will give you access to a private Discord server. If you want to donate, visit my donor box page, or you can send me crypto. Links are down below in the description. And other ways to support the channel are visiting my merch store or one of my sponsors. I'm sure you'll find something that you love. Anyhow, thanks for watching. This has been Mr. Obvious, and I'll see you all next time.